Greetings, my mortal amigos. Cookie cake. It's delicious. And salutations, YouTubers. KTM here, of course. Who else would you expect to see on? Oh God, I gotta stop using that introduction. Really, it's getting kind of old, buddy. <clears throat> anyway, I've got a little bit to talk about today. Uh, something that is of interest to me, that I want to spread the word about. So I'm going to read. To you. I subscribe to the uh, Human Rights Campaign, the HRC uh, newsletter. And basically, they tell you what's going on in the world of GLBT rights, right? Well, check this out. I got a letter. Dear, insert my real name here that you will never know. If you have any doubts about the power of our collective voice, have I got a story for you. Two days ago, after local activists sounded the alarm, HRC sent out a national email alert warning that a Michigan TV station was planning to air an hour-long paid propaganda piece about the radical homosexual agenda created by a right-wing group. Within one hour of our email, which many of you forwarded on to friends and family, the station announced they were pulling the program off the air. You did it! <coughs> we Will you take a moment to think? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I am so proud of the local activists who started it and of all members who answered the calls, asking the station to replace the program with a constructive debate on LGBT issues and legislation. The station deserves our thanks for making this balanced decision. But make no mistake, this is a, not a one shot deal. The Anti LGBT American Family Association created this program as a one hour national special. They've already spared no expense in producing it, and they're not going to stop their national campaign just because one station decided not to air it. I ask you to remain vigilant and use an email if you see speechless, silencing Christians anywhere in your TV listings. And it's a sign of things to come. We'll surely see more attacks like this. And as we make our progress on hate crime legislation, the Employment Non-Discrimination Act, and same-sex marriage. So stay tuned. I may call on you again if we find out the stations in other cities are planning to run this hour of lies. And now please thank Wood TV in Michigan for its balanced decision. We are poised to make real change, to deliver the protection to millions of LGBT people. We know it, and so do our opponents. I hope we'll be ready to fight back when these tired lies arrive in new packaging. Warmly, Joe Simonesi, I can't say that name, President, P.S. Because Wood TV's announcement came out so soon after the alert launch, we stopped the email before everyone on the list had received it. In case you didn't see it, you can clear you can view it here. Pretty self-explanatory. Basically, there was a very hateful piece of religious right propaganda, the trailer to which alone made me start oozing liquid hate from every orifice of my body, and I do mean everyone, including the pores on my face and feet. Um, anyway. So, other than, I mean, it, it was one, one of the most hateful things I have ever seen. And uh, it was going to go on the air in Michigan. And it was canceled, taken off the air. And it was replaced with a wholesome debate on LGBT rights, which is what needs to be in that position. Booyakasha. Now, here's the important part. What do I think about this? Well, I think it's a great victory for the GLBT community, first of all. Let me make that very clear before I go into what I'm going to say next. This is wonderful. This is like, getting that off the TV is like, you know, getting a KKK hate speech against black people off the radio way back when. And, I mean, that's basically what this is. This is irrational, disgusting, filthy, absolutely abhorrent, unnecessary hatred that just... That kills people from the inside out. It tears them to pieces because they think God hates them for something that he apparently did to them. Which is about the most fucked up shit anyone could have to go through. And trust me, I've seen someone go through it and it was not pretty. Anyway. So, you know, you have this thing. And I really appreciate that they got it off the air. And I really appreciate that they put on an LGBT debate instead of a you know, some weird homosexual pride thing, and I'll get into that why later. But, but, 
You know what's gonna happen? You wanna know what's gonna happen? The goddamn psycho funny fucking bastards are all gonna go. They're all gonna go. They're all gonna go. Hey guys, look at this. Look at these damn dare door faggots. They's trying to get us off the telly. They's trying to censor us free speech. I mean, they's all about tolerance and love. But when it comes to the Bible's love and the love of the Lord Jesus Christ on high praise, Jesus praise, Jesus. I can't remember where I was going with that. Oh, right. You know, they don't understand love the Lord Jesus Christ on high and therefore they're, you know, they're trying to censor us because they don't want to hear what we have to say. You know what? We don't want to hear what we have to say. And the same way that black people don't want to hear what the KKK has to say because it's wrong and it's hurtful. So shut the fuck up. And they're going to go on like this forever and ever and ever and ever. And they're not going to shut up because, oh, we're censoring them. Well, you know what? You deserve to be censored. Hate speech deserves to be censored. Okay, so why am I glad a GLVT debate was put on rather than a pride parade? Well, it's quite simple, actually. You see, if they had put on a GLVT debate, rather, if they put on a GLVT debate, then maybe we have the chance to educate all the bigots who are too stupid to realize that the show has been changed. And maybe if they realized it's changed, they'll watch it anyway because, you know, oh, we got to squish them faggots. But, you know, you can't squish something if it's unsquishable. Do you catch my drift? Anyway, um, when it comes down to it, it's, it would be a bad idea to put on a pride parade type thing of a jig anyway. You want to know why? Because it's proving their point in a way. More accurately, you're alienating them. You're saying to everyone else, hey, fuck you, fuck your opinions, we're the only one that matters. And, well, certainly I just said, you don't deserve freedom of speech if you're going to use it for hate speech. You know, if you're censoring them and then replacing it with the exact opposite, especially where they're in a position where people think they actually have the moral high ground, then you don't want to do that. You want to give an honest, open thing. And again, like I said, I think it would be better anyway. And also, a lot of people don't like it when, you know, a whole bunch of gay men are dancing around in bright pink and are wearing, like, leather and, you know, looking all kind of gimmed up out. They usually don't like that. Um, I mean, everyone loves lesbians. This is something that bothers me. I think I've mentioned this before. You know, it's perfectly fine in most people's eyes for a woman to be a lesbian. That's perfectly fine. But, oh, God help someone if it's a gay man. Jesus Christ, let's go crucify him because it's disgusting and filthy. And I actually think that has something to do with, you know, actually, sexuality, <laughs> believe it or not. Because uh, when you look at it, you think, you know, the guy is supposed to be on top no matter what. And if somehow, you know, you think this guy is being subservient sexually, then you think he's weak. And, you know, you think that's disgusting. And that's why guys usually get all uptight about gay people. But whatever, huh? Um, I gotta go. However, I would love to thank Richard Coughlin for the massive influx of subscribers I've already gotten. About two minutes after his video was put up, I already had six subscribers. Hopefully this won't be enough that uh, the entire world here will know about me because I'm trying to keep this low profile. Kind of. Whatever. <laughs> Peace. Love and the inevitable flower. Ciao.